Welcome back to the channel, everyone, and thank you for coming back and supporting my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my new subscribers, my old subscribers, and my subscribers that are thinking to coming on board to help my channel grow. Yes, and thank you for coming to seek out the entertainment that I have on my show, the commentary that I give, and you guess, you just wouldn't guess. Oh, you probably already have since I'm showing the pictures. Who has signed up to work together? These two young ladies, a force to be reckoned with. Two young powerhouses, okay? Working together to build their empires, even larger than what they are. Okay, we got another story from Atlanta Black Star we're going to introduce on my channel today. And you know... My girl, Kirsten Willis, is over there banging them out as usual. Her title reads of her article, I Know That's Right. Candy Burrs and Portia Williams applauded for getting money together with new project. What that project is, I have no idea. But to see these two women working together in solidarity and making money and leaving all that past stuff behind that was so negative, I wonder what Phaedra Paws will think about this newfound friendship of wealth. Because <laughs> I tell you, Phaedra Park is seen some everywhere on social media. And it's not even doing anything. It's just like basically she's showing her body for the world to see. And she's just acting like a little thought out there. I kind of feel sorry for her because I don't understand why she still wants to be into the entertainment field when she has several degrees. One of them being an entertainment lawyer. Shouldn't you be looking up clients that needs representation for issues surrounding the entertainment business? But she's trying to be a part of the business. Go figure out. You just can't make this stuff up. I can't figure it out. But anyway, let's get back to the story. It goes in to read, when filming has wrapped on The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12, Portia Williams and Candy Burris appear to have another project up their sleeves as they continue to cement their renewed friendship. Ah, getting money together, that's a nice friendship. Okay, very nice, lucrative friendship. Get it, girls. That was my pun intended, not in the article. We go back to the article. It says the pair were seen working on a secret shoot in Los Angeles recently, as reported by a fan account for Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, and it gives a nice picture, and I've also included the picture. Uh, I guess it was posted on Bravo, or maybe it was on one of the girls' uh, websites, or probably both of them, their Instagram accounts. But I gave it to you to look at. Uh, this being portrayed out there in the social media world. Going back to the article, it says, Portia Williams and Candy Burris spotted together in L.A. working on something special. Uh, read the caption of the photo op between Williams and an unnamed man and Burris. Okay, viewers of the show were thrilled to see that Burris and Williams are back to being on good terms. A process that began after Williams revealed she was expecting a baby with fiance Dennis McKinley. Time heals all wounds, Jesus fixed it. I love this newfound of a friendship. That's what a commenter had wrote on their board. Um, uh, Oh, yeah, honey, I'm here for it back like they were in season six. Okay, thick as thieves, when, especially when Candy had her part of her, her production stage place she was getting together. She had Portia over there singing, and I think um, Portia tried to have a little, uh, a little touch and go with the singing industry, uh, the music industry. She was uh, making a single called Flatline, and we heard nothing else from it. It was kind of cute, but she didn't do anything with the singing career, so I don't know. Maybe it was all auto-tuned. Who knows? But it was a good look. Sounded good. Had no problem with it. <clears throat> Going back to the article, another commenter wrote, they getting money together. I know that's right. Another commenter said, I love them together. Besties, they are even matching with the green. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about no solidified friendship between them two okay that has to be a lot of years building and strengthening because they just got out of a little mess two episodes ago or two years ago so i wouldn't push that envelope too far all right but moving on to another commenter's post they said um 
I'm very happy to see you ladies moving forward and forgiving. It's real grown woman for you. Okay. Another commenter said, no, it was another commenter. Went back to the article where she puts her pieces in by saying, this is not the first time Real Housewives of Atlanta fans have gotten a glimpse of Williams and Burrs getting back into the groove of a friendship. Back in March, the escaped singer appeared on Watch What Happened Lives and affirmed she and Williams are still doing well after they put their issues to rest. I hope we're doing great forever. I hope we will be doing great forever, Burrs told host Andy Cohen at the time. We have definitely worked on getting things better between us, and so far, so good. So I'm hoping it stays that way. Burris and Williams have patched things up after the former began mentioning she heard that Williams' then-boyfriend, Dennis McKinley, had been dating other women during his courtship with Williams last year. The admission led to a big blow-up between the women. However, once Williams shared her impeding motherhood with the cast on a trip to Japan last year, Burris extended an olive branch. I feel pretty shitty about some of the things I said about Dennis, especially listening to what you said, Burr said during a dinner in Tokyo. Obviously, those are some of the things that I had in my relationship as far as everybody had some shit to say in the beginning. But obviously, Todd turned out to be amazing for me. So what? So with that, I apologize for all that I said for real. So Candy was definitely apologizing for all the misdeeds and the miss spoken words she had for Portia because you know they were at the time they were battling each other and they were putting each other down and it just is what it is until you walk a mile in someone else's shoes and then you can quite uh, quietly understand how and why they've been moving the way they were moving and it really wasn't nothing to do with you it was just other issues and other factors and other environments that just got into play for the negative which hence y'all had a bad um relationship with one another but we're glad everything is uh going well again we're still watching dennis mckinley a lot of things have been said out in the social media world and he hadn't been really quite up front with you know things so hopefully portia would not marry him without getting a prenup done a ironclad type of prenup uh because right now he's just moving uh, funny in these ways she's getting brand new opportunities she's making more money meaning more revenue more um uh, money in the bank for her and her daughter and you know if he's doing so well he needs to be continually doing what he's doing but if they both are not willing to believe in old adage love can conquer everything then they need to stay uh fiancés really because they don't they haven't learned that money is not everything but again nobody wants to be a pauper if they're used to living in a wealthy type of lifestyle that they definitely uh worked hard to achieve and they have a certain lifestyle that they like and they don't want to give it up understandable have it to the day you die however you know when you mix in greed and, and money and power up with another person that has just as much as you uh, and much to lose if things go south, uh, you know, you really do need to um, put in place a prenup so all parties can be taken care of. But that's all I have for this particular video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I love the unity of both women that were foes in the past. They're becoming to be somewhat cordial and friendly towards one another, almost like starting anew, meaning for trying to uh, forget what happened, forgiving you know what's the most biggest part they could ever play at least 99 percent of it and then kind of taking out their heads what actually happened to have made their friendship go south in the first place so uh, each year forming and building relationships coming uh more aware of each other's um essence and environment plays a big part so hopefully they can become friends where they can become ride or die chicks but i know the elephant is still in the room how you know she was told a certain thing but portia has definitely matured and she's looking at things with her glasses off or her shades off she's looking at it full of view so with her having a baby it probably brought a lot of more awareness to her for the positive and it has definitely made her grow up a lot so i'm seeing that in portia so can you continue to give her that olive branch and y'all keep solidifying find y'all friendship and keep making that money out there together the legal way okay love it love it love it but that's all i have for this video um thank you for um coming by 
looking at my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you uh, did enjoy it, please hit that like button, share my videos, and subscribe if you haven't done so at this time. If you are a subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you for continually supporting me. And if you're still on the fence, get off that fence, okay? Come on in the house. Have a little cocktail or have some coffee because we always keep that water hot and boiling in case anybody stop by. We like more till six, okay? We keep the light on for you. Okay, it's a family affair. But anyway, y'all be blessed, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.